Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video on the how to make an FPS game series. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to add client replication for the for the gun so that when a player equips a gun it will play a nice gun hold animation and it will show up for all of the players and same thing for the other player of course and we're also going to be covering how to add uh, unequipping guns. Before this video starts, if you guys want to support me and want to have access to all of my project files, including the one you're watching right now, they will all be available on my Patreon in the Thunderbolt tier. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to make sure that the gun shows up for all of the players, so that when you have a gun equipped, the other players will see you with that gun equipped. So, the way we're going to do that is we're going to be using tools. So, I'm going to add a tool to the workspace, and I'm going to add a part to it. I'm going to add a part and I'm going to set the size of this part to 1, 1, 1. And then you will right click on the part and click show or in the orientation indicator. And this is going to be showing you where the part is going to be facing. So the tool is going to be held on the right hand and it's going to be facing that way. So what we're going to do now is we'll make sure that the transparency is set to something like 0 0.5. And I'm going to get my gun. From here, so I'm going to go uh, to the uh, guns folder and I have this gun right here. I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to put it inside of the tool. Now I'm going to copy the position of the of this part that we added. So we'll go to position, we'll copy it and we'll go to the position of this and we'll put it there. But before we do that, what I want to do is I want to resize it. So I'm going to create an Arthro avatar by going to avatar and uh, rig builder. Uh, sorry, it wasn't going to be Arthro. Uh, it's going to be a block avatar and we'll put it right here and as you can see right now the gun is way too big so we're going to have to size it down by holding down alt and uh, by holding down alt oh I can't select it for some reason oh okay holding oh my god okay so I need to select okay I gotta uh, figure out why this is happening and I'll be back I think it's because I have my gun inside of the tool and I should be having it in the workspace. Now I'll try that again and it still does not work. Okay, so for some reason my studio has this bug. So what I'm going to do is instead of doing it that way, I will just divide the size by 1.5 on the X, on, on the Z, and now divide it by 1.5 on the Y and divide it by 1.5 on the X. Now I think this is the right size and I'm going to be putting it back inside the tool and what we're going to do is we'll copy the position of this part. So go to position, copy it and go to the position of the gun itself and we'll put it there. Okay, now we'll just move it. Uh, we're going to move it there, I think. I think this is going to be fine. Okay, I think this is good. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to train to, to make sure that both of these are not anchored make sure they are not anchored and that both of them are not collidable so make sure that can collide is set to false on both of them now the next thing we need to do is to uh, uh rename the parts to handle and make sure that it's fully transparent and now we'll, we'll go to the handle and we'll add a weld constraint and we'll set part zero to be the handle and part one to be the uh, gun itself now I'm going to take this tool and I'm going to rename it to gun and I will take it and put it inside of the starter pack so that I can play the game and see how it looks. Okay, moment of truth, we'll equip the tool and as you can see, I think this is fine. We just need to make some animations. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to make an animation for each gun. So I'm going to go to the avatar tab right here and we're going to go to animation editor and we'll select this. And since the uh, right uh, hand is going to be where the gun is going to be held, we'll do that. And we're going to move this down. And now we'll take the left hand and I will move it up like that. And we'll make it hold the gun. So I'm just going to do this. This. And I think... Yeah, this is this looks very weird. So I'm just going to mess around with it a bit more. It's so weird. Yeah, I'm not an animator, so I'm just going to keep it th this way. Yeah, I think this is fine. We'll make sure that loops is checked. Uh, you can probably do a better job than what I did here. 
So yeah, make sure that loop is checked. And now I need to record my entire screen. Now that I am recording my whole screen, I will show you how to do this. We'll go here and click the three dots and make sure that set animation priority and click on action. And now we'll go to publish to Roblox and we'll call it gun hold. And now we'll just copy this ID right here and we'll add an animation to the tool itself. We're gonna add an animation or we should probably add a folder and we're gonna call it animations. And we're gonna add an animation to it. And this animation is going to be called uh, hold. And we'll set the animation ID to the one that we just copied. Now we'll close this tab. And what we're gonna do now is we will start scripting it. So I'm going to take this, uh, I'm going to add a script to start a character script. Uh, I'm going to add a client script and I'm going to delete this uh, script, this local script that we have over here. So we'll delete it and we're going to enter this one. We're going to call this one gun manager or, or tool manager, gun tool manager. Okay. So, uh, we need replicated storage. Let me just check something really quickly. Okay. So we are using camel case. So look at replicated storage equals game colon get service replicated storage local players equals game colon get service players and local player equals players dot local player and local character equals script dot parent since we are putting the script inside our player inside our character scripts the character will be uh, this script is going to be inside the character so what we're going to do now is we're going to do character dot child added colon connect function and this is going to return the child. It's going to be uh, an argument here. And then character dot child removed colon connect function. And this is also going to get the child. So now we're gonna check. So whenever a new thing is added to the character, uh, it's this full this uh, function is going to be called. And I'm gonna check if the child is a tool. So if child dot class name equals equals tool, then and we're gonna copy this and put it right there. Now I'm going to print equipped tool. And in here we're gonna print unequipped, unequipped tool. So the reason why we are using child added and child removed is because, so I'm going to play the game and I'm going to explain. So after playing the game, what you will notice is that whenever I uh, if, uh, any player equips a tool, it will get added to the character. So whenever a new thing is added to the character, we'll check if it's a tool. And whenever it's removed, we'll also check if it's a tool. So now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go to the uh, gun tool over here and I'm going to make sure that it's named the same exact name as the one that we have in our guns folder. And we'll add an attribute. And this attribute, okay, I can't see my entire screen again. We will add an attribute. So click the plus icon and we're going to call it gun. And just press save. Now what we're going to do is we're going to enter our gun manager and we're going to check uh, in here, instead of doing this, we'll check if the class name is not equal to tool, then we'll just going to return. And if child dot, uh, if not child colon get attribute, and we're going to just uh, type in gun, then return. And now just copy both of these and paste them here. So now what we need to do is whenever we a we equip a gun, so we are we are checking if it's a tool and we are checking if it's a gun. And what we want to do now is equip it from the uh, FPS module that we have over here. So uh, local modules equals replicated storage from with child modules. And uh, now we'll require that module. So local FPS equals require modules common with for child FPS or I don't even think we need a wait for child, just do dot FPS. And now what we're going to do is, uh, FPS dot, uh, equip gun and we're going to do child dot name, but this will not work if we unequip the gun and equip it again, because, uh, unequipping a gun does not work. So we will have to enter our FPS module and we're going to add another function. And this function is going to be called function dot mod module dot, and it's going to be unequip gun. And it will take the gun name and it's going to be a string. And what we're going to do now is uh, gun connection 
on disconnect. But before we do that, we need to check if gun connection is not equal to nil. Then we will disconnect it. So we are stopping whatever is happening in here, this entire thing. And what we need to do is uh, view models. So the, the folder that we have in the workspace, also need to get rid of these. Uh, so view models, comma, clear all children. And now we just got rid of every single view model that is in there. Uh, we'll use this gun name later, but for now we're not going to do that. And what we're going to do now is fps dot, dot, uh, we're going to call the unequip gun function. fps dot unequip gun. And I think a better name for this would be unequip all guns. Uh, and we don't really need a gun name and, and all this. So in here we're going to do fps dot unequip all guns. So we'll be unequipping all of the guns and then we're going to be equipping this gun right here. Now what we're going to do is whenever a new child is removed, then we will do FPS dot unequip all guns. And now if you play the game. Okay, so we just played the game now and we will uh, equip the gun. And as you can see, equipping the gun will equip the uh, view model and unequipping it will do that. And okay, so we know that this works. But the thing is, uh, this other gun that we are seeing, it doesn't look very good. And by the way, if you go to the server right now, so other players are, are going to be seen, they're going to be seeing this. So the gun is actually attached to the player himself. So what we're going to do now is we're going to enter this. And what we need to do is set the transparency of the, of the gun to 1. So uh, before we equip it, we're going to do for underscore comma v in child colon get descendants do. And we're going to check if v colon is a and if it's a uh, base part or or v colon is a union operation, then v dot transparency equals one. And that is all we need to do. And I think unequipping, uh, we don't need to do anything here. So if you play the game again, okay, so uh, now if we play the game and we equip this, as you can see, uh, the other gun is not visible. While if we go to the server view, uh, we still have our gun equipped. So uh, this is good, but what if we unequip it? So as you can see, we should be fine. And if we do it again, uh, it still works. And if we go to the server view, it of course still works. Okay, so. Uh, now what we need to do is play the animation. So uh, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to do function, local function. Uh, I think we, I think a better way to do this would be uh, doing all this stuff from the FPS uh, module. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this animations folder and I'm going to put it inside of the gun in replicated storage. And I'm going to go back to FPS. And whenever we equip a gun, we need to uh, we need to play the animation. So we gotta get the character. So we're gonna do that right here. We will do local character equals player dot character or player dot character added. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna check if character uh, if character is not equal to nil then or if character equals equals nil then return and we also need to do local humanoid local uh, humanoid or local animator equals character come on, find first child humanoid or local humanoid we gotta get the humanoid first humanoid so if humanoid equals equals nil then return and now we need to Okay, I gotta put this in here, then return. And local animator equals humanoid colon find first child animator. And if animator equals equals nil, then again, just return. Okay. Okay, I think we should be fine. And what we need to do now is play the animation. So uh, local, local uh, gun hold animation equals, and we're gonna do gun uh, dot animations, or actually we're gonna do uh, animator on load animation, and we'll just type in gun, 
uh, the animations dot and we're gonna type in hold and instead of doing gun we should do found gun and now we're gonna do gun hold animation on play and now we need to go back here and we're gonna have another variable and it's going to be local current gun local play in gun hold animation and it's going to be set to nil and in here we'll go to uh here and we're gonna do playing we're gonna do playing gun hold animation equals that and uh, playing gun hold animation column play and here we're gonna do if playing gun hold animation is not equal to nil then uh playing gun hold animation column stop Okay, so now when we unequip all of the guns, we need to do if plane uh, hold animation is not equal to nil, then plane gun hold animation column stop. Okay, so we'll play the game again and see if this works. Okay, so I'm going to equip this, and as you can see, my animation does work. And if we go to the server view, uh, as you can see, it does show up, but my animation skills are very, very bad, so it looks quite horrible. Uh, but don't worry about how it looks right now because in first person view you won't we will not be able to see the animation Okay, so uh, now what about unequipping it and it should still work just fine And if we equip it again equip unequip equip unequip and everything still works Okay, so uh, in the next episode we're gonna be adding uh, aim animations and uh, Shooting animations and we're also going to be detecting shooting but now what I want to do is show you how this looks with two players. Okay, so I'm recording all of my screen now. And I'm going to uh, go into first person on this. And I will equip my gun. And as you can see, this is how, how it looks for me. By the way, the green things will not show up in game. It's just that I have welds showing. And if I go to the other client and equip this, as you can see, it works just fine. I'm gonna go in front of this guy and yeah we unequip the gun and we equip it here uh, it still works okay so that's going to be it for this tutorial if this helped make sure to subscribe like the video share it with your friends and i'll see you all in the next video bye